Okay, y'all. Uh, the devil tried to uh, delete my first video. I tried to make it this, so I got to do it again. And I want him to know I'll keep doing this till I get it, till it stays on here. So, well, we're going to be talking about baptism today. Uh, did you get baptized the right way? If not, you need to go back in that water and get baptized the correct way. But first, we're going to pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch over your people, guide them, protect them, Lord. Uh, help them to overcome sin. Help them to o uh, overcome the urges of sin, which we know sin is of the devil. Lord, there's people that's going through many, many problems. People committing suicide over this isolation. Lord, watch over them. Don't let them do it. Uh, I pray for all my enemies, every single one of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. All right. Three ways to get baptized in the Bible. There was three ways they did it. In, in the days of Moses, they baptized them under the cloud and of the Holy and, and of the sea. And I'm going to show you what that was. We're not under that one no more, but I'm going to show you the first baptism. We're going to go to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. And we're going to go to verse, I'm mean, going to go to chapter 10. 1 Corinthians, chapter 10. And we're going to start at verse 1, and we're going to go to 2, okay? It says, Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that our fathers we're under the cloud, okay? Under the cloud. That's what they're talking about with Moses' baptism, the cloud and the sea. They were baptized under Moses. And it says, For the fathers were under the cloud, and all passed through the sea. They were baptizing them in the sea. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All right? Now, we're not under that baptism no more. That's the Old Testament and a lot of these laws were for Jews only. All right. Uh, now we go to Matthew 28, 19, where John the Baptist came and was baptizing them in the name of Jesus. I mean, I'm sorry, in the name of the Father, the Holy Ghost, and the name uh, of the Son of God. Uh, quick, quick overview about Matthew while we're looking. Matthew was a tax collector, all right? And back then, people hated tax collectors, all right? So this man found God through this whole Jesus thing, all right? Jesus coming. So we're going to go to verse uh, 28. 28, and we're going to go to verse 19. And this is Jesus Christ speaking. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Glory to Jesus Christ, the one true God. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name. All right. Now we think it says names, but it's actually baptizing them in the name of things. A singular. So he baptized them in the name of the Father, okay, in the name of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. That's what John the Baptist was doing. Now, I'm a father. Those are all titles of God right here. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, all titles of God. But he had a name, and his name was Jesus Christ. Okay, just like I had a name. I mean, I, I'm a father. Okay, and I'm a son. You know, I'm a, I'm a mother and father. My mother and father. So I'm a son. Okay, but I got a name. In order for me to uh, 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 get a license, they got to put my name on there. They can't just put the fa my father and the son. No. 
They got to put my actual name over there. I had a name, just like G uh, God had a name, and his name was Jesus Christ. There's no other name that can save you, okay? So, but then John told us in Matthew 3.11, okay, let's go back, 3.11. Matthew 3.11, and this is John the Baptist speaking. It says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, okay? But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I'm not even worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Why do you think... Who do you think John the Baptist was uh, talking about? He was talking about Jesus Christ coming. God coming to a human form. He was getting everybody ready for Jesus Christ's return. So he was baptizing them in the name. But they didn't know what the name was. The Holy Ghost. Uh, the Father. The Son. They didn't know who these people knew who, who it was. They just knew it was these names. Okay. So John told you, somebody's coming after me that's going to be baptizing with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And we know that's Jesus Christ, all right? So uh, real quick, uh, we're going to go to uh, Matthew, uh, back to where it was, 28, 19, where it says, Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son. So who is this Son and what is, his, what is the Father's name, all right? Let's go to John 14, 13. John 14. You're going to bear with me because we're going through the Bible like this, all right? John 14, 13. And it says, this is Jesus Christ speaking. It says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, Jesus Christ, that will I do. That the Father, the Father, the title of Father, may be glorified in the Son. So now we see that Jesus Christ is the Father. He's the Son. And He's the Holy Ghost. Okay? So John told us that He's going to be uh, baptized. He was in the wilderness. Uh, he was called the greatest of all men because he had the holy spirit from birth he was he was created by god for one purpose and that was to baptize everyone in those names for the remission of sins okay now this is the baptism we are under okay we're gonna go to acts 238 Me. Acts 2.38 Then Peter said to unto them Repent That's what God told me He said repent For the kingdom of God is at hand But well, we're going to read Acts 30, uh, 2.38 Then Peter said unto them Repent And be baptized Every one of you not some, not few, not maybe some of these people. All baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. All those three are one. They combine them into Jesus Christ. All right? Baptize them in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission, the washing away of sins, for remission me, and ye shall ha ye shall receive the uh, gift of the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit. They're the same thing. All right. So if you didn't get baptized under the name of Jesus Christ, you need to go. Uh, you need to tell your pastor, listen, you baptized me wrong. I need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Not the Father, not the Holy Ghost, not the uh, 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 the Son, because Jesus Christ is all those, and His name is above all names, and I'm going to show you that. 
Acts 4.12, since we already did. Acts 4.12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Only one name can save you, and his name is Jesus Christ, the one true God. Okay, so we on there, we got this. We got to get baptized in Jesus Christ's name, and if we didn't, we got to go right back in that water and get baptized. And I'm going to show you why. We're going to go to Acts 19. Acts 19. Acts 19. Acts 19. X 19 we're gonna start at verse 3 and we're gonna to go to 5 now I'm going to explain this give you a little overview of what's going on here uh, before we read it Paul uh, uh, was asking his disciples how did what did you get baptized under and they all told him the John's baptism where it was the Holy Ghost the Son and the Father okay which was right at the time but now we get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so he told them that and they all went back down in the water and went, got baptized under the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're going to read that. Acts 19, we're going to start at verse 3 to 5. And he said unto them, unto what then were you baptized? So back, Paul's asking the question. And then his disciples said, unto John's baptism. Then Paul said, John verily baptized truly baptized with the baptism of repentance that was a uh, uh matthew 3 11 where it explains that what we just went over and they said unto john's baptism then said paul john truly baptized with the baptisms of repentance saying unto the people that they should believe on him then we said there's someone coming mightier than him to baptize you with the fire and the Holy Ghost. That they should believe on him which should come after him. That is on Christ Jesus. And when they heard this, when the disciples heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So they had to go all the way back down there and get baptized the correct way. Now, there's a reason why they had to go get baptized in the right way. Because it's mandatory. A man shall not, a man or woman shall not enter the kingdom of God unless they get baptized. So any liar, and I'm going to show you the verses on that. But I want to explain this. If your pastor tells you you do not have to get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you look at him straight in his face and tell him he's a liar. And you send him to me. Or send them this video, whatever the, whatever you want to do. Not everyone is called to 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 uh, preach. I mean, teach the word of God. You got to have the Holy Spirit in order to discern these holy scriptures. It's a gift given by God. Man, I'm blessed, man. I can't thank the Lord all the time, man. I I can't be deceived by the devil because I know this word. Thank the Lord, Jesus Christ. Now we're going to go and show you where it's mandatory where a man has to get baptized or he cannot enter the kingdom of God. I had a lady try to tell me the other day, you don't have to get baptized. What are you talking about? Who are you teaching that to? You're lying to people. Oh yeah? Well, let's go to John 3, 5 and see who's the liar. John 3. We're going to start at verse... I'm sorry, chapter 3, John, and we're going to start from 3, verses 3 to 5. Jesus answered to them, Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Disprove any lie that tell you don't need to get baptized. Now, there was a guy named Nicodemus who was a Pharisee, he was trying to 
uh, discredit Jesus Christ as God. So he asked him because he was confused. He couldn't understand what Jesus was talking about. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into the mother's womb and be born? So he thought he was talking about a woman re rebirthing somebody. Then Jesus answered. God answered. Truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. No excuses. No excuses. Come on, I'm going to repeat that just so everybody understands this. Truly, truly, Jesus said, I say unto thee, except a man be born of the water, being baptized in the water, down in the water, the whole body, and of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto you, thee, I'm sorry, not you, thee, ye must be born again. All right? Now there's four steps in being saved, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going, I'm going to go over these, okay? This is the four steps to get to heaven. I want you to write this down, put this on your forehead, whatever you got to do. Write this in your mirror, uh, 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 whatever you got to do, all right? First step, believe that Jesus Christ was God and that he came to save us from our sins. And he died for us and show us the way and rose on the third day. A God that never knew pain or torture showed you. He took the pain and he felt pain for the first time. <coughs> That's a loving God. Willing to die for you. That ain't love. The devil gonna die for you. That's the first step. And then you get a pardon for every sin that you have committed. Every sin washed away. All them wicked sins you done did in your past. When you believe that Jesus Christ was God. And then you were... Uh, uh, you get automatically a pardon for every sin you have committed in your past. Second step. We're going to count these. Repent for every sin you have committed. I don't care if you don't know them all. Just say, I repent for every one of my sins. Now, you better get uh, on your knees and humble yourself and, 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 and tell God your sins and tell him what you did wrong so you can fix, so uh, he can forgive you for them. All right? <coughs> so you repent for those sins. That's the second step. Third step. Let me get a, a quick drink of water real quick. Handicap, I, got, I get thirsty quick. Third step. Third. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Acts 2.38. I want y'all to remember that scripture everywhere you go. Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38. Never forget that scripture. Acts. 238 Okay, get baptized through the water and the spirit for the remission of sins Now the fourth step Turn from your sins And walk with God That's the four steps to get to heaven Anybody that tells you anything different They are a liar La 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 liar. Like I said, send them all to me. I'll take care of it.
So we understand that this is mandatory, all right? You cannot see the kingdom of God without getting baptized. It's one of the three or uh, four steps. Now, we're going to go to Colossians 3.17, and then we're going to end this out with another one, all right? Colossians 3.17. Don't let me forget this, Kurt Lady. Damn. Colossians 3.17. And whatever you do in word and deed, do all. Let me repeat that. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Jehovah, uh, the Father, uh, the Creator, the King of Kings, none of them names is going to save you. Only the name of Jesus Christ that we are under. Baptism, everything goes there. And one more verse and we're going to end it. Philippians 2, 10 through, I'm sorry, 9 through 11. Wherefore God also have exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, every name, that at the name of Jesus, just by that name, Jesus, not even quite, Jesus, every, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, which a lot of people don't know hell is earth. It's just the, it's just the, in, the, in the center and the bottom, deep down. All right. And that at verse 11, that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, the Father. Ladies and gentlemen, if you got baptized in the wrong name, and you wasn't baptized right, or you was a little kid and you got baptized. Man, baptism is a choice. It's a choice you make to God to tell him. Not as a kid when you didn't know what you was doing. It's a choice that you uh, that you that you believe in what he's saying, and that he is king, he is the Lord, and I will do everything he tells me I'm gonna uh, tell me to do, and I obey the the holy scriptures. All right, ladies and gentlemen, turn from your sins. Repent for them. Find Jesus Christ. He will hear you. He loves all of you. More than you think. He created you. God bless you my brothers and sisters.